So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the magic world of Vedic mathematics. Uh, one small request, please switch on your videos because we can interact in a better manner. Right. If it is not possible, then it's okay. Otherwise, try to because then you'll have eye contact and you'll be able to learn more. And moreover, you will not be distracted. Right. So very first thing, I would like you to pat yourself. See, you have today taken the first step towards learning of Vedic mathematics. And this is but obvious whenever we are planning, whenever we are thinking to start something new in our life, we are always distracted by so many things. It is nature what gives us distraction. And we are always lingering our schedules, our programs, and everything. I'll give you a very small example to this. Few days back, we started with the new year. How many of you made so many resolutions? Yes, we'll start yoga this year. We'll start with meditation. We'll start with morning walk. What happened on the first Jan? All plans derailed. You know why? Because with every positive thought in your life, there is a doubt associated. So whenever you plan something positive, nature will give you a doubt and we just get distracted with that doubt. Think, if you have planned for a movie on the 1st of Jan, will you ever change that schedule? Will you ever move away from that schedule? No. And I would not say that, yes, watching a movie is a negative, but it is not, again, positive as starting with yoga, meditation, shloka, anything, anything constructive. So same is the case. You might have thought about this Vedic mathematics. You might have seen this advertisements long back. But coming to the point and registering for the same was a long journey. Yes or no? Yes, Champal? Yes, Mr. Yedla? Akshat? Was it so or not? Absolutely true. Why does it happen? So the, the simple answer is yes. Whenever we have a positive thought in our life, nature distracts us and gives us a doubt. And we get trapped in that. Right? So whenever such thing happens, think again, plan again, and don't get deviated. Right? So this is just a test from a human for a humans from the nature. So let me introduce myself. So I am Dr. Yogesh Chandna, author, trainer for Vedic mathematics. I've written books uh, on Vedic mathematics step by step, which have been nationally awarded, the most viewed writer in the world now. And I have been an educator from the past 25 years and working to support, to motivate people to learn and grow as an entrepreneur. Right. So now these two days we'll be learning yes, Vedic mathematics. More on more about how to launch your classes. And the very third, very important thing, how to hold the class. See, sometimes you have knowledge, but it is more important how you transfer that knowledge to the person who is seeking knowledge from you, right? Yes, Mr. Yedla, are you there? Satya Narayan Yedla. Okay. Right. So, like I told you, the first step is the most difficult one. That is where we generally get deviated. That is what we generally prolong. That is what which we generally don't take. We have some fear in our mind and we don't take that step. So once that step is taken, journey is very easy. But to take that first step, you need courage. You need that positivity. You need that motivation. And this is what is required from our life. See, what does our life, what does nature expects from us? Nothing but to be positive, to be motivated, 
to be confident all the time. And this has been proved in Bhagavad Gita also. What does it say? It says that, yes, we should be confident throughout the time. But what happens? Even in one single day, we lose that confidence number of times. Oh, I'm not feeling good, so I'll not have lunch. Oh, I'm not feeling good, so I'll not go for work. What is that? We change with the moods. Is this what is expected from us? No. What is expected? To be confident, to be motivated all the time. And that was the reason I said, we keep on postponing our plans, our dreams. Every positive thought we generally postpone. We are going for an interview, but at the last moment we start thinking, will I be able to crack that interview? No. Our mind says no, and we don't go for it. Now, how, how can you judge or how can you decide before appearing? That is what is called as doubt. And that has weakened our confidence and lost our motivation. So, what is expected is to be motivated and confident all the time. Don't worry. We are now at the right time and right place. And during these two days, we'll be learning Vedic mathematics with positivity and confidence. Today is a day to learn. Yes, you'll be learning. Launch. Lead a path towards success in your life. Right. So let me first walk through the brief history of Vedic mathematics. Just give me a second. So, yes, how many of you know anything about Vedic mathematics? What is Vedic mathematics? Anything you know? Yes, Akshita, uh, sorry. Yes, Devesh? Do you know anything about Vedic mathematics? Mr. Yedla? No, sir. Yes, sir, I, I know a little bit. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, can you, can you uh, tell me? Can you I, think, uh, I think uh, uh, Vedic ma uh, using Vedic metrics, we can quickly uh, calculate mm -hmm. and do the calculations very quickly, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. That's that's one factor. Yes. See, everybody is aware about this factor that we can calculate <clears throat> uh, mathematical calculation faster. This is one aspect. Today, I'll be sharing you a number of aspects. It is not just mere calculation, it is a life-changing process. Correct. Okay. Yes, uh, Akshat Madhu. Anything you have to say regarding Vedic mathematics? No issues. Let me explain you. Very first thing. First, we should know why is it called Vedic mathematics? What it is? We'll learn. But why is it called Vedic Mathematics? The very first question. Now, it is called as Vedic Mathematics because it is believed to be originated from our Vedas. Do you know how many Vedas we have? Devayash, Devayash, sorry. Satyana, Champa. How many Four. Vedas do we have? Four Vedas. Great. So can you name them? Uh, Rugvedam. Yes, great. Ajurvedam. Yes. Uh, uh, no issues. Rig Veda, uh, Sam Veda, Yajur Veda, and Athar Veda. Yes. Correct? So these are the four Vedas. And this particular subject, it is believed to be originated from our fourth Veda that is called as Athar Veda. 
the Veda, which deals with the branches like engineering, mathematics, culture, medicine, and all the sciences which we are today aware of. Right. And that is why also Vedic means deep knowledge, ocean of knowledge. So that is a reason why it is called as Vedic mathematics. Correct? Is it clear? Now, every knowledge, it is shared to the individuals with help of some guru. Now, who is the person, who is the father of Vedic mathematics, who shared us this beautiful knowledge? So, this subject, it was basically revived largely due to the efforts of Jagat Guru, Swami Bharati Krishna Tirathji. Now, he was a great scholar at and a Shankracharya at Govardhan Peet, which is in Odisha, Jagannath Puri. Right? So, during his tenure over there, he wrote or he extracted the knowledge of Vedic mathematics and gave us this beautiful subject. So, this is regarding the history. Why is it called as Vedic mathematics? Because believed to be originated from our Vedas and Second, due to the efforts of Swami Bharti Krishna Tirachi. Is it clear? Any question? Okay. Now coming to the a very simple definition. What is Vedic mathematics? Now if you ask me in a simple line, I would say Vedic mathematics is what makes our mathematics simple, easy, and faster. And in one word, magical. Correct. But technically, yes, it is a collection of... Now, in mathematics, we have some formulas. So we can say it is a collection of techniques. Techniques are the different methods by which we can do the calculations. Or it is or uh, you can say it is a collection of techniques slash formulas. Correct formulas we all know we all use in mathematics. But here that formulas are called as sutras. So different formulas which are uh, uh, different techniques which we call as formulas in mathematics. Here we call them as sutras. So it is a collection of techniques or formulas or sutras to solve mathematical calculations in easy, simple, and faster manner. Clear? Any, any question on this? Yes, Devesh. Devesh, are you getting it? Yes, sir. Now, how many formulas do we have? See, like in mathematics, we have number of formulas. Number of sub-formulas. Here, we have only 16 formulas and these formula or you can say 16 sutras and 13 sub formulas or sub sutras and with the help of these 29 formulas or sub formulas or you can say sutras and sub sutras you can solve entire mathematics let it be your arithmetic algebra geometry trigonometry calculus conics and even organic chemistry. Can you believe it? Yes, Mr. Yedla, you are, I think you are working in some engineering college. Yes, sir. Uh, right. uh... I'll ask you a very simple question. Now, we all know that value of pi is 22 by 7, correct? Yes, sir. You are teaching M1, M2, and M3, and I think uh, some other subjects too. Now, my question is, we go for the value of pi number of times in our engineering, mathematics also, physics also, correct? Yes, sir. And during the calculations, you might have observed that every time you have to divide by 7. Right. Perfect. So, now division means you have to draw that tree, dividing, dividing, dividing. But you might not be knowing this, that dividing by 7 always yield same result, same 6 digits. 
The only thing is the pattern might change or the cycle might change. Otherwise, the answer is always same six digits. Do you know that's this fact? No, no, sir, I'm not aware of that. That is, that is the, that is where, even I did my engineering in 1997. Now, today, I feel if I would have known this fact that time, how much time you would have saved in our calculation, in our exam, is for minimum 10 to 15 minutes in math as well as physics examinations. And today, when I shared it back with my professors of the engineering college, they were shocked like anything. Oh, we never thought like this. We never did like this. Yes, because this is not included in our curriculums. See, what is Vedic mathematics? It's basically making this math uh, mathematics simple, easy. So sometimes we overlook simplicity. Today, I'll be giving you very basics. The basics like how to write the table, how to understand the tables, how to do it without any fear factor. And then after that class, you'll fe start feeling, oh, why we were not told this at our age? Very simple question. Why do children have fear of mathematics? Yes, Mr. Yedla, you, you're already teaching M1, M2, M3, and I, I remember people used to fail in M1, M2, M3 a lot. Yes, sir. So yeah, why yeah. do we have fear of mathematics? Because uh, people don't understand the fundamentals, right? What are the fundamentals in mathematics? Like algebra, geometry, trigonometry. Okay. These so, are the fundamentals. So algebra is fundamental. Or oh, arithmetic is fundamentals. Yeah, arithmetic. That is. See, now uh, I'll, I'll give you a live example. See, I talk about only live examples. If you give somebody a 100 rupees note and ask them to bring bananas for 33 rupees, if he's in class three, four, five, I don't expect that he'll be able to get the change immediately. Because, yes, that borrow, we get confused in that borrow system itself. How that one turn to nine and then turn to ten. So we'll discuss all on this today. But the best part would be the more you will ask me, I'll be able to answer. <clears throat> Correct. Sure. Because most of my viewers, they are online, they are connecting through online, they are sending messages or they are looking for the video recordings. But you are, have the opportunity, you are live right now. So you can ask any question regarding this. Correct? Okay. Now, question arises. We already have maths. We have so many contents. So what is the need of having Vedic mathematics? Why do we need Vedic mathematics? Now, very first thing, I don't think today I have any guests from Nepal here. In India, as per national education policy, this subject have been made compulsory. Do you know this fact? Devesh, do you know this? Yes, sir. So have you started, have, have your school started implementing this? No, sir. Okay, no problem. They will be, they might be implementing this year itself. Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Yedla, do you know, as per national no. education policy, this subject has been made compulsory? No, sir, I'm not aware of that. Yes, so as per national NEP, okay, leave classes, leave. So that means students from class third onwards would be given the knowledge of this subject. Though it's not new for us. See, we are already using this in our entrance examinations, in our scholarship examination, in our competitive examinations. We are using the concepts of Vedic mathematics. It's long back we are using this. But yes, it was not given a name as Vedic mathematics since our education policy didn't allow that time. But as for our new education policy 2020, this has been made compulsory. And that is the reason, if you might have seen our Honorable Prime Minister, he said three times in uh, Man Ki Baat that yes, Vedic Math says good for learning, good for competitive exams, good for your mental exercises. So if the Prime Minister is saying this thing, it must have some weightage. 
subscribe. Now coming to the point. Yes, one thing is compulsion. It has been added to our course curriculums. Second thing, why Vedic mathematics? Because it has got so many advantages. Now the very first advantage is it helps to solve mathematical problems 10 to 15 times faster. Can you believe this? Yes, sir. Why? Why does it helps or it we, we are able to solve mathematical problems 10 to 15 times faster? What does it happen? Yes, Akshat, Maga, yes, Dimesh, Aapko pata hai? With Vedic mathematics, we are able to solve the problems 10 to 15 times faster. Yes, sir. Pata hai aapko? Yes, sir. Kaise pata? Hmm? How do you know, beta? Okay. My father tells me. Great. Nice. So, I'll tell you how it happens. Now, this statement you might have observed, you might have seen, you might have watched number of times on social media, through advertisements, through ads, through newspapers, through media, everywhere. But the question arises. See, today we are living in a scientific era. That means we need proof for everything. Right, Mr. Yedla? We need proof for everything. Can we believe on anything which is stated? Yes, sir. Kya so what should we do? Are you comfortable in Hindi or not? No, no, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I, I can speak. Go. So, what proof do you have? You you agreed to just now. You agreed. Yes, it helps to solve this ten to fifteen times faster. Now the question arises: How? Why? I don't know how, but uh, mom. Uh, I know Vedic mathematics so uh, can uh, do the calculations very quickly. Hmm. Okay, so today I'll give you the basics behind that. Right, yes. this is not available in any Google, any Facebook. Now the first reason, okay, I'll ask you one question. Champa was also there. Okay, she's coming. Now, how do you read a paper? Or, yes, Divesh, how do you read a newspaper or a book or anything from left to right? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Do you agree, Divesh? Only leave Urdu. Yes, I'll sir. How do you write? From left to right. Correct. Right. So, that means we read from left to right. Right from left to right. Now, wherever you are sitting, just see in front of you. There might be a cupboard. There might be anything placed. What did you observe? First instant, you'll see the objects placed on left hand side and then on the right hand side. It's fraction of seconds. But yes, it is there. Did you observe? Yes. No. So this is, see, always when you look, your first instant you see things on left hand side. Because this is how your eyes are coordinating with your brain every time. Whether you are reading something, whether you are writing something. Correct. Now okay. my question arises. Question is, then why math calculation the reverse way? Yes, Satana, you are teaching M1, M2, M3. So why mathematics, when we do everything from left to right, why do we do mathematical calculations from left, from right to left? 
Uh, I think we should, uh, we have to follow the Bodmos rule for the simplifying any expressions, right? Uh, yes, Bodmos, you can talk about in complex things, but if it is two digits plus two digits. Okay. Or if it is just a multiplication, still we go for a, I am see I am not going to any complexity right now. We are talking oh. to the very basics. Okay, okay. The basic idea is when we perform everything from left to right. Why do we do mathematics the opposite way, right to left? Why? Oh, I don't know, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Because we never tried. We never gave a thought to this. Yes. Correct. So today I'll tell you where that mathematical calculations can be done from left to right also, and that would be much faster. Why? Because when you are able to read from left to right, so calculations are also possible. And you know, this is a very big reason why our mental calculations are slow. Why we are not able to calculate anything mentally? Why we are not able to do maths mentally? So the basic reason behind that is we are going reverse way. So today you will learn this, how to go with the wind, how to go in a right manner and you'll be fast enough. Correct? So this is, so when this makes uh, this left to right calculations makes Vedic mathematics faster. Correct. So this is the first reason why Vedic maths is faster. Second reason, if I assign you one work, anything, and one is you can complete yourself, other is you go and pass that work to someone else. That means you become dependent. So, you, when you are doing it yourself, that would be faster, or when somebody is doing it for you, that would be faster. When we do it to ourselves, it would be faster. Yes. Dependency will always slow down. See, dependencies. Devesh, are you getting this? Dependency will slow down. Yes, sir. Just remember, when maid is absent, your mother is able to cook in much less time. Mama jaldi jaldi kar deti hai na? Aur maid wahi kaam kitni deer tak lagati thi. <coughs> right. So, same thing applies on Vedic mathematics. In Vedic mathematics, we will not use paper. No paper required. We will not use pen. No dependency on paper and pen. We will directly use our brain, mental. So that's why we are faster. We are not dependent on paper. We are not dependent on pen. And that is the reason we become more faster than usual process. Correct? So this you will observe today. Third thing. Very important again. Now, we know that, okay, first I'll give you one question. Five, seven, six into 121. How will you do this? Just, I, I don't want the answer. I just want, how will you attempt this? First, we multiply with one. Okay. Okay. Then so, do... No problem. That means you will write down this way, six, seven, five, and then, then, then. Correct? Right. Yes. Okay. Just remember, you gave me this answer. Devesh, how will you do it? Same procedure? Yes, sir. Same three-time multiplication and one-time addition? Yes, sir. 
Just remember it. Today you will not do by this thing. You will do it with another way. I'll not teach you. You will do it. Now what happens? I'll tell you one thing. Why do we in small pre-primary classes, in preschools, play schools, why do we teach with visualization? Why do we teach the students with showing them playing cards? Why do we show play with rhymes, music and all? Because it has got deep impact. Correct. Now, here also, it all depends on visualization. You will start observing the numbers. Once you observe the numbers, that means visualization, you will find, have a reason behind it. Reasoning. And the third, you will apply logics. Now this might be, you might be surprised, how will it work? It will work. I'll just give you a small example. When two students are fighting, what does the teacher say at the first stage? Please calm down. Now why is it said? So that they realize, they understand or they can think, visualize the situation, why they fought. The purpose is to make them realize or visualize the situation. And once they'll visualize, they'll say, okay, okay, I'm sorry, and the thing can finish it off. Same thing is visualization. Reasoning and logics. So you will start observing the numbers, then you will find a reason, yes, this is appropriate way to solve it, and then you will apply that logic. Correct? So you have, we have taken one number today, 576 into 121, you have given your technique how you will be solving, but I'll show you that you will change yourself. You'll solve it in another way, which I will also not teach you, but you will understand yourself, and that would be called as your visualization. And once you start visualizing the numbers, this is not learning mathematics. No, this is not only mathematics. It is life changing process. See all the big institutes, uh, all these institutes which teach yoga, meditation, they have introduced now Vedic mathematics. All the, so many research are being going on in India also, abroad also, people are now going for PhDs in Vedic mathematics. Why? Because how this subject could have so many advantages? How can it change a life of a person? So the basic factor is this. You need to understand this visualization. Everything in Vedic math depends on this. Correct? So we'll understand this today. The four, so once your VRL is strong, VRL means visualization, reasoning, and logics are stronger. Definitely your speed increases. Correct. So this is a third reason why do we have more speed or why we are able to calculate faster with Vedic mathematics. Clear? One last reason I'll give you, not the last, but yes. Okay. Now we all know that we have two brains, left brain as well as right brain, correct? Yes, Mr. Yedla, David? Yes, sir. Okay. My question is, who has got left brain active and who has got right brain active? If a person is uh, very creative, uh, his right brain is active. Okay. And left? If a person is, uh, is doing very hard work, his left brain is active. Uh, this is absolutely correct. What you said here, small change. It's logically stronger. Not hard work because hard work could be in both. Artists might also do hard work. Right. Okay. Right. So... Left brain, very smartly, left means 
more logically stronger. We might have seen sometimes there are students in our class who ask so many questions. If we say one thing, they'll ask why, how, when, correct. They, those are logics because they have, they are very, their left brain is very much active. And some people are there who are sitting at the back or in front also, and they are planning, thinking something about creativity, how things can be done. So all those who are more in, interested in art, music, dance, and activities, such activities like creating something new, they have the right brain active. But in this subject, your both brains will get activated. This is a positivity. Both left and right brain, I'll prove you today with examples, how both of your brains start working. You, you should not get shocked if I ask, if I tell you multiplication with two. Multiplication with two is a very good brain exercise. Both your brains get active. You might not be knowing this, but this is a hardcore fact. Because you do two things simultaneously. One is what you're doing calculations in one part, your left brain. And the other brain is thinking what will be coming next. So that is how you use both the brains together. I'll, I'll uh, show you this also. Any questions you have now? Now we'll be starting with the solving the questions. So we'll have uh, 100 plus questions we'll be solving. Any doubt, any question you have up till now, you can ask me. Yes. Yes, Devesh, any question you have? No question, sir. Now take out your paper and pen because now we'll be solving questions on this. Whatever we learned till now, we'll be solving on that. Correct. So, but still, a chance for you to ask me anything, whatever you have in your mind. Yes, uh, yeah, Mr. Yedla, you have anything yes, in your mind? Any question? Uh, no, sir. Uh, you can... Okay. Now we'll be moving to the practical part so you can open up your notebooks initially we need paper and pen just to start just to you, you should have a start otherwise we will not need in future right okay. so the first thing the first exercise we'll be doing is multiplication with 11 and its multiples. Please write down this because we'll be I'll be asking you a question on this also. Okay. Great. Okay. Now, me, moving further, yes, uh, Champa, do you have any question? Okay. Now, tell me, very simple, now 11 is a magical number. Do you know this thing? No. Yes, sir. How? Uh, we can uh, add the middle numbers to multiply any number. We can add the middle numbers and keep the uh, end of the numbers. Okay. I'll, uh, you have gone through this concept, but I'll give you more depth knowledge in this. Very first okay. thing is, Dinesh, whenever 11 is multiplied with any single digit number, any single digit number, what happens? The same single digit number is repeated twice. Correct? Yes. Yes, Devesh? Champa? If yes, it is sir. 4, 44. If it is 6, 66. If it is 5, 
55. If it is 9, 99. But this does this magic repeats when it is a two-digit number? How do we solve? Vivek, if I say 11 into 12, how will you solve? 132. 132. How, Vivek, how is this the method you adopted? 12? Yes, sir. Now, this was easy, quite easy question. But maybe tomorrow. Okay, let me ask you a simple question now. If, what is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 11? Can you answer? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Into 11? Yes. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. Perfect. But you are taking time. So uh, the answer is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 5. 5. Finish. Okay. So you will be able to do this today. Don't worry. Now, this is not how we have to do calculation. Because if we will be going by this method, then we'll not be able to crack entrance examinations. I told you very first thing, 11 is a magical number. Now see the magic. Whenever you have 11 as one multiple, take the second number, first digit as it is, last digit as it is, in between add the numbers, one plus two is? Three. Three. This is your answer. See one more, 23. 2 plus 3 is? 2 plus 5. 3. Finish. Correct. Okay. So what is 34 into 11? Give me the answer first, Tivesh. 374. Three, three, Very good. 42 into 11? 462. 51 into 11? 561. Very good. 561. Into 11? 880. Eight, Eight eight zero. Perfect. Seventy two into eleven. Seven nine two. Nine two. Eighty one into eleven. Eight nine one. Eight nine one. Ninety into eleven. Nine nine zero. Perfect. Now tell me one thing. So thirty six into eleven. Three nine six. Perfect. Now what is thirty seven into eleven then? Three four zero seven. Now let me tell you how you have to work. See now understand this thing. Very first thing before this, we need to understand place by values. Now when we talk about place values, how many digits you can have at unit place? How many digits you can have at unit place? 10. You can have only one. It could okay. be zero to nine, but yes, you can yes. have more than one. Yes, yes. Every you place, okay. How many digits at 10's position? Two. Only one. Only one. See, total number at tens would be two. But if I talk about tens position, that means only one. Hundred position. Only one. Only one. Only one. This is the small funda factor you need to remember to solve this Vedic mathematics. Entire Vedic mathematics works on this place values. See how? Now, when I said 36 into 11, <clears throat> now, 36 into 11, yes, it was 3, then there is a line, 3 plus 6, line 6. Now, this line is basically called as balancing line. Physically, they don't exist. Physically, they don't exist, but you write down just for your 
convenience because this will make calculations convenient for you now see let's say this is a unit position you have one digit of x 3 plus 6 is 9 you have one digit of x 3 one digit of x so that is the reason this was correct but when it is 37 it becomes 3 10 7 7 is correct 3 is correct but this is wrong you cannot hold two digits at one position so that is the reason why the extra digit so what we do the extra digit is move towards further left hand side wherever you will find extra digit that is moved further so that is the reason 3 plus 1 becomes 4 0 7 now is it clear clear devesh champa yes. This is the reason. This you need to understand. Now, what is 46 into 11? 5. Now, see how you have to solve it. How you have to understand. Think from this side. Oh, I have to write 4. No. Because I, I can see 4C. I can 4C. I can observe that their addition will be giving me a carry over because 4 plus 6 will always give me a carry over so observing that forcing that you'll just add one to it five and what is the second digit of 4 plus 6 that is 10 0 6 as it is 87 now 8 plus 7 is 15 i can understand so before writing 8 i'll add one nine, nine. five five Seven. Yes, eighty-nine. What is the answer? Nine, nine, seven, nine. Yes, Devesh. Nine, seven, nine. Okay, forty-nine into eleven. Fast. Five, three, Five, nine. three nine. Very good. Okay. Uh, fifty-eight into eleven. Six three eight. Perfect. Okay. Sixty seven into eleven. Seven zero seven. Seven zero seven. How seven zero? Oh, seven three seven. seven. No, no, sorry. <laughs> seven three seven. Okay. What is the high, uh, highest two digit number? What is the largest two digit number? Ninety nine. So what is ninety nine into eleven then? Fast. Oh, nineteen. What confused? Yes, Devesh. What is the answer? One thousand eighty-nine. Yes. Nine nine means nine eighteen nine. So this when this will go here, it will become one zero eight nine. Finish. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Any doubt now in two digit numbers? Right from eleven to ninety nine. Any question you have on this? No, sir. No, sir. No. Okay, let's start no, with three, three digits then. What is 123 into 11 then? 11. Okay, I'll give you. One as it is. One plus two is? Three. Three. Two plus three Five. Is? Five. And three. So... First is 1, then we make a pair 1 plus 2, then 2 plus 3, finish. Clear? Yeah. So first number, Lost. then first plus second, then second plus third, and then third. Clear? Yeah. Okay, solve this. 
two, take three. What is the answer? Pass. Two, eight, nine, three. Two, eight, nine, three. Yes, Devesh. Two, eight, nine, three. Three, three, two, three. What is the answer? Three, five, five, three. Six, five. You said six, Devesh? Three, six, five. five, five. Six. Six, five, six. How six? Three. Three, oh, five, three. five, three. Three plus two is five. And two plus three is also five. And three. So there is no six at all. Six, three, three. Six, nine, six, three. Got it? Yes, Devesh. Is it clear yes, or not? Yes, okay. Sir. Now let's have carryovers here. Up till now, we didn't have carryovers. So what is three, eight, three now? Four. Four one. Four one. Four one. Four, one. Four, one. No. Let me make you understand this also. See, first thing I observe <coughs> I was supposed to write three, but I thought no, eight plus three is giving me a carryover, so I wrote four. Correct? Now the second part, three plus eight gives one. But again, one more carryover is coming from this combination. So I'll write two. Four, two. Four, two, one, three. Got it? See, that is what oversee the things. So uh, if, if you are unable to do this or not finding it easy, you can write first line this way. One line beach me, you can add. So then it is easy for you. Got it? Got it, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, four nine seven. What is the answer? Five. Yes, five. Five four. Six, four, seven. Five, four six, seven. Clear. Okay. Triple five. What is the answer? Five four zero five. How oh, it would be five then? I was supposed to write five, but five plus five is ten, so six. See, no, I was supposed to write, but again, five plus five. See, six one five. Six I, I, I told you write like this, no? This, uh, Mister Yedla, if you take this line in between, then you'll never go wrong. Okay. Got it. This goes Got here. It. This goes here. See, ultimately, you have to balance it. That is why this is called as balancing line. Okay. I told you every teacher has a different way of teaching. So I will teach you from the roots. I will teach you from the base of Vedic mathematics so that it does not go off after this class. The balancing line is very important. Every calculation will involve this. Otherwise, mentally balancing you won't be able to do if you don't have this in knowledge. Correct. Okay. So what is triple six into eleven? Champa, you are not giving any answer. Seven three six. Seven three two six. <clears throat> Now you got it. Okay. Eight, seven, eight. Now tell me. Eight. Yes, fast, fast, fast. Seconds. Eight, six, five, six. eight. Seven, six, five, eight. How seven, six? No, yes. sorry. Nine, six, five, eight. Yes. Here? Or any eight. doubt? Okay. Okay, what is six five nine? Six seven to four nine. Seven to four nine. Clear? Any doubt? 
Okay. But still, long way to go. People think 11 is. It's not on the 11. You learn something more for today. So, what is the largest three digit number? Triple nine. So what is 999 into 11? 9. Write down. If if you like, you cannot visualize just now. You can write down in steps. Okay. okay. 10989. Yes. 10989. Correct. Okay, let's start with four digits then. One, two, three, four into eleven. What is the answer? Four. Pass, 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 pass. One, two, four, one, three, six, eight. One, uh, one three, five, seven, four. One. One three. plus two is three. Two plus three is five. 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 Three plus four seven. is seven. And four. Now, One three, seven, five, seven, five. You, you know, Devesh, why you are making mistakes? Yedla, you do, do you know why you are making mistakes? Yes, sir. Because, because you didn't ask me one question. The question was, why we are making pairs? Why I am not adding one and three? Why I am not adding one, two, three? This is the reason we are making mistakes. We need to understand the basics initially only. So, since we have two ones, that is the reason we add two digits at a time, maximum two digits. So, initially, now here I don't have the first digit, it is only zero. So, basically, I am adding zero plus one then 1 plus 2, then 2 plus 3, then 3 plus 4, and at the last, 4 plus 0. Okay. So you need to understand this basic concept that we are adding two two digits here. Correct. Okay. Good. So what is 4, 3, 2, 1 into 11? Verbal. 4, 7, 5, four, seven. five. Five three one. Four seven five four three five. Last me five. How come I have it? Four seven. Then five, five three, three one. one. See again. I'll say the one thing. Four as it is. Four plus three seven. Do it like this. Five or even if more. Then see. I'll I'll give you an alternative way also. You can write down this way. You'll never go wrong. Starting from this side, we are moving now. So first digit, then four and three. Then now two digits gone, then three and two. Then two and one, then two. Uh, sorry, one. Finish. So vertically also you can do. Done? <laughs> Anything? Okay. No, sir. Six, five, four, seven. Give me the answer. Seven one nine seven. Seven one nine seven. Seven one nine seven. Nine kya se hoga? See this nine four and seven. this four zero. This four is seven. seven. One seven. Check. Six. Six whether I am correct or not. Seven, nine, one. Seven, one, nine, seven. How one? It is already 11. Okay, yes. let me tell you. Six, one, one is carry forward to six. I, 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 I'll tell you. Six, 11, nine, 11, nine. seven. So what will happen? This one goes here. So what is this now? Ten. Okay, okay, I made a mistake right here. Okay, sir. Now this one goes here, it becomes 12. Then goes this, so 72017. 
यू कैन बाई सम Seven five three six. Seven five six three six. Seven five six three six. Got it. Okay. Eight seven seven eight. What is the answer? Okay. Eight five, five, nine, six, five, five, eight. Nine, six, five, five, eight. Now it's clear. Are still any doubt? No, sir. No. No doubt. Sure. Nine, zero, nine. Zero. What is the answer? Nine 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 nine. Nine 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 zero. Hmm. Double nine double nine zero. Correct. The... Okay. Nine seven eight six. One zero seven six four six. One zero seven six four six. Four seven. Yes. What's your answer, uh, Devesh Champa? ठीक है ओके व्हाट इज द लार्जेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर डबल नाइन डबल नाइन सो व्हाट इज डबल नाइन इंटू डबल नाइन इंटू इलेवन One zero nine double nine double one zero double nine eight nine one zero nine nine eight nine one zero nine nine eight nine. Now you are clear. Okay. Now this was the question one two three four five into eleven. Now the wish. Can you answer this? One three five seven nine. One three five seven nine, nine five. five. So initially we thought this is very tough. Up tough right now is it tough? No sir. Is what it? you are doing? You know you are observing numbers and just trying to calculate them mentally. Till date we never thought the numbers. Because what? Why maths is slow? Why maths is slow? Why maths is fearful factor? Why we don't like it? Because we always ignored the basic thing that is numbers. Okay. So any doubt in multiplication of eleven? No, sir. But uh, okay. we forgetting the our rules, sir. Actually. I'll 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 okay I'll I'll go for it. So, what did you observe from this? So very first thing, okay. What are the observations? You are uh, engineering faculty, so definitely in everything we make observations. Correct. 
let me ask you the very first thing is what was the topic multiplication multiplication with 11 yes devesh what was the topic so multiplications with 11 where did you multiply them did you multiply anywhere no, no. then yeah, why did you call it as multiplication with 11 then yeah, adding the numbers what what adding the numbers can you say okay. you are a, again i am saying you are into engineering you have to be very particular about the words can i say just adding the numbers now let me tell you when for the first time we are taught the topic of multiplication in class 1 or 2 or 3 first question is 2 into 3 is equal to 6 sorry <laughs> Now, at that time, a teacher is not able to explain what this cross means, actually. So, they say, if 2 is added 3 times, it becomes 6. Or, 3 is added 2 times, it becomes 6. So, a new definition era is given. Multiplication is... Repetitive addition correct this is told this is this was taught to you device yes sir. yes sir now my first question was 11 into 12 so did i add it 11 uh, 12 times <laughs> or did i add it 12 11 times uh, then why are you saying addition then why are you saying adding? Adding can mean this only, no then? Yes. Then what is the exact word? Let, let me give you and now ask you. Then what could be the exact thing? What did you observe? So the first observation is, yes, we are adding. Adding corresponding digits. So what does this mean? See, you, we, we cannot give a vague answer adding. Was I adding 11 and 5? No. Was I adding 11 and 4? 1 and 4? No. I was adding 1 plus 2 and 2 with 3 only. Not 2 with 4 also. And 4 with 5. 3 with 4. So that means I was adding only corresponding digits. Correct? Thanks. Yes, Devesh. I told you. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, like, it's more important to hold down the class and then you have to be very clear with them. The concepts have to be made very clear. Just giving one answer, adding the digits it will not work. Because tomorrow, the students might get confused. They'll, yes, sir. they'll remember adding the digits and they'll add something. Got okay. it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> no issues. Any second observation you made? Anything? Yes, Devesh. Anything new you found in the system? Anything new you made? You learned? With us, sir, uh, we have adding two or zero two numbers because of uh, eleven. Adding is yeah. done. Adding is done. Anything else? Adding is done, sir. Now anything new? Anything else we learned? Mm. So. Let me tell you. For the, okay. Now, this was a question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How are you adding? 1, then 3, then 5, five then 7, seven then 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 5. So, what you are doing? From left to right or right to left? Left to right. And left to right. See, for the first time in your life, you might, you, you were attempting left to right. Now, you have the answer also. Try right to left. 
which is more faster. Just try. On paper, it might be more faster, but mentally, it is always faster. Why? <clears throat> See, have you have you ever tried with bicycle? Cycle? Yes. Yes, sir. So what happens when you are <clears throat> riding a bicycle and wind is from front? So what happens? We get slower down. Yes. yes and if sir. wind is from the back, we get fast, moving fast. Yes, sir. Same thing happened here. Now, because I read like this, left to right, one, two, three, four, five only I read. So when I was calculating from left only, I was in uh, great speed. When I was calculating this side, I became slow. Because Why? Because I have to read from one, two, three, five, and I have to calculate from the reverse way. How is it possible? You got my point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, same same example is of the boat. When you're rowing a boat and wind is from front, you always have to make more efforts. Same thing, you have to make more efforts. And in making the more efforts, you are not able to find the answer mentally. And you get frustrated and you start leaving that. You start saying, no, I cannot do mentally. I'll do on paper. This is how you react. Yes or no? Yes, Mr. Yedla? Yes, am sir. I, am I right or wrong? Right, sir. But we have to memorize the number first, right? Which number? The, like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why you need to memorize? Just uh, by the observation. See, now you are comparing your knowledge of uh, you might be today 30 plus, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. From past 25 years, you have been doing one thing. Today, for five, uh, uh, not even 30 minutes, you are doing, you have changed your way. So we cannot compare 30 years with 30 minutes. Now, if you just give a practice, see what we have to do. Because, see, why, why I'm saying just visualize and go? Because you have to read ultimately from left to right only, no? Right. So, if we'll be calculating also from that side, will be more easy. And remember the thing, whenever, see now, one more thing was here. In particularly 11, I'll tell you, <clears throat> you cannot have a carry over more than one. Can you have? Yes. How? You cannot have more than one because maximum number could be nine, nine. 9 plus 9 is 18. So one carryover. You cannot, can never have a carryover more than one. Right. So that's why you can automatically add one. Certain things. Now, the only thing is we need to have, we need to give time. Correct. Just if we give 15 minutes a day to Vedic mathematics, your entire speed will change. But today also I'll be giving you homework. Try doing that homework and you'll feel a change in yourself. But was it fast or not? Were you able to do it faster or not? Yes, Devesh? Yes, sir. Did you ever... Uh, oh, did math so fast earlier? No, sir. So, bit fast, at least. And when you do homework, then, yeah. Okay. Any question you have? Any question you have? No, sir. So, then, are you ready for the test? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Again, Champa not answering anything. 1, 4, 1 into 22. What is the answer? Uh, 
Yes, Devesh, what is the answer? Mr. Yedla, what is the answer? Uh, what happened? One, two, one, five, five, one, and two. Yes, Devesh. Okay. If, Mr. Yedla, I would have given this question before the instructions, then you would have done this. Correct? No, sir. I, uh, I factored a 22 into 11 times into 2. First, I do the multiplication with 11, then I multiply the uh, result with 2. Yes. Or My question was, if before in this workshop, what would have been the method? First, second, or third? Second. First or second? Second, second. second. Why? What is wrong? Many. See. I cannot believe that before the workshop because just now you gave me the answer of other question also like this. Okay, yes, Devesh, what was your answer before the workshop? Because at that time you knew only one method, this, third. Sure. Now, what do you think? Which is good? First, second, or first and second, both, and third? Only second. Just second. Why second, Devesh? What is wrong with the first? Because multiplying with uh, 1551 five, is uh, um, much difficult than the multiplying with uh, 1412. Okay, I'll tell you. See, now my topic was multiplication with 11 and its factors. Or multiples. So what are multiples of 11? 22, 99, 121, 22, 33, 44, 55. I could have given you examples on all. But then when will you learn something? Got my point. 11 I have taught you. Now 22. Now you can visualize this. You visualize this that this is nothing but 11 into 2 or 2 into 11. This was not possible before the workshop. So this is one approach. 11 into 2. So 2 uh, 5551 5, into 2, 3102 or this. But now my question is, which is more appropriate? So if I talk about more appropriate. Second method. Second is more appropriate. Now reason behind is. 11 is such a number with which you can multiply any big number. Now if I give you 10 digit, 20 digit number. Even 25 digit, 40 digit number, you can multiply with 11 easily. So, it's not necessary every time you'll have 22 here. If suppose you have 99 here, then 1551 into 90 or 141 into 9 is easy. Definitely smaller one. So always remember, whenever you come across multiples of 11, whenever you come across multiples of 11, that is like 22, 33, 88, 99, 121, 
132 and further. Always first multiply with multiplier. Correct. So first multiply with a multiplier and keep 11 up till the last. Because with 11, you can do anything, not with other numbers. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, Dinesh. Is it clear? Champa, clear yes, what? Sir. Yes, sir. Now the second question. Five, seven, yes. Do you have something to say? Uh, just a second, sir. I have a call. You have a? I got a call. Okay. You... I am also getting, but I have put it on that. Yes, how will you solve this, Devesh? Yes, sir. Yes, it's all for okay. How will you solve this now? Can you tell me, Mr. Yedla? Hmm. What is 121? What is 121? Thirty. Is it not 576 into 11 into 11? Yes, sir. So that means 576 into 11 is 6. Into 11 means 69696. Six, Finish. Cannot. See, that's why I said keep your video on. Because then you will not be distracted by your environment. Clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Yedla. <laughs> Champa, anything? Okay, solve one. Divish. One, two, one into six, eight, eight, nine. Pass.
So four six eight eight nine multiplied by eleven multiplied by eleven. Very good. So solve it. Give me the answer fast. Now you know eleven. So now from now you will visualize the numbers. Uh, you'll take care. Where is eleven? Got it. <coughs> this is known as visualization. And then you will realize when when workshop was started. You said you will do like this. Then seven five seven seven nine multiply by eleven. No issues. From now onwards, you will never attempt like this. First, you will always observe the number. Correct. This is going to happen with you every time you have to solve mathematics. You will always start observing numbers, and when you start visualizing the numbers, you will find the reasons behind them, and then you will apply proper logic, and this will improve your mathematics. It will create your interest. It will give you ability to think. It will give you that confidence which is required. Got it? Yes, sir. Solve it. In the meantime, let him also join. Yes, anyone? Any question now? Yes, Mr. Yella. Okay. Any doubt now? So what is the answer of this? Sorry, eight three three five six nine. Eight three three five six nine. <clears throat> Small question. Two eight one. Oh. So two a two one multiply by eleven multiply by eleven multiply by eleven. Thirty three is thirty three eleven into eleven. So eleven to three. Huh? You need to observe better. Then what should you do first? First with three or first with eleven? So first with eleven. Then you didn't. Uh, you are not listening. Then I told first with multiple and then only. Hmm? So whenever you get across this, first multiply with the multiple. So this would be the right approach. So this will give you three, four, eight forty-three into eleven. Solve it. <clears throat> Nine two seven three. Nine two seven three. Okay. Anything? <clears throat> yes, Mr. Yedla, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm back. So, did you understand this? How will you do five seventy six into eleven? Uh, sorry, one twenty one now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Factoring the number. So that means 5, 7, 6 into 11 into 11, correct? Correct. This is 6, 3, 3, 6 into 11. That is 6, yeah. 9, 6, 9, 6. So that means you can do now this mentally. And earlier you told, no, this is the way. Yes. So that means you have changed your thoughts? Yes, sir. So that is known as visualization, reasoning, and logic. So now you visualize that, yes, it is nothing but 11 multiple. And you find the reason, ki, yes, 11 should be multiplied first. And then logic supply. See, that is why I call it as life-changing process. I've just given you one small example today. So like this, there are so many examples of in Vedic maths where you'll just visualize the number and you'll get the answer within seconds. Otherwise, you have the procedures. Long procedures are always there. <clears throat> Correct. So, to be fast, there are certain methods. Okay. 
let's move further any doubt any question on this topic now no sir no sir okay let's move further so the first thing i said was it helps to solve mathematical problems 10 to 15 times faster so this was the first advantage of vedic mathematics is the screen visible now yes sir, yes, sir. right and i gave four reasons behind that he yes why it is there because very first thing what was the first reason left to right the direction based second was dependency of the paper and pen yes devesh when we started with two digits number initially you did on paper then you were doing independent of paper and pen correct yes sir and that time you were much faster you were doing better than the calculator at that time. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Because even if you press five buttons on, uh, uh, see, if you have to multiply two digits into two digits on calculator, that is slower. You were faster. Right. So that is how your speed increases when you are independent of paper and pen. Third thing was <clears throat> your right brain and left brain. Yes. One brain was calculating, another was assuming what is coming the next. And that we were adding. So this is how things work. And you already learned how visualization helped when we did multiples. So any question you have now, you can ask me. Yes, Mr. Yedla, you, you might be having any question. Yes, now, sir, it is very clear. Okay, so now coming to the second advantage, why Vedic mathematics? Because it helps to solve mathematical problems. This was the first benefit. The second, so this, oh, okay, let me let me show you the slides. This was what we did, left side, add the digits, then right hand side. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, I have to go somewhere. Can I leave the class? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll share the homework you have to do on this topic. You can do it, right? Okay, sir. Sir, please share okay. the recording also. I'll do. Okay. Second is now. <clears throat> so this was testing yourself. Ex important observations. Yes, we were actually adding corresponding digits and not multiplying. And we were calculating from the left to right for the first time. Second major advantage. It reduces burden. Now, what is burden in mathematics? Burden is the first pain, the first fear, that is tables. Yes? You remember this? Yes. Yeah, like, do, you, do you remember your time when you were in a class three, four, five, or two, when teacher used to ask you tables and you were clueless, answerless that time? Yes? And till now, people, students, Teachers, they all have fear of these tables. So whenever we ask this question, how much time do you need to write a table, particular table, let's say, for example, 89 only, I generally get an answer 10 minutes, 8 minutes, 5 minutes, 7 minutes. Why? Because they don't have the technique. They were not taught, they were always cramming the things. Any table into, 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 they used to cram. And what happens? Now, if you understand, if you remember, every teacher, every subject teacher, let it be math, let it be English, Hindi, science, social science, they always teach, learn, understand, and remember. But whenever tables concept is starting in mathematics, the teacher says, remember. Cram. Cram. <laughs> because there is nothing to, how will you re just remember without understanding, how can you remember for a long time? Yes. Got it. And that is where the word actual cramming comes into practice. And at up till some age, a student is not able to understand the difference. What is understanding and what is cramming or what is remembering and what is cramming? We always try to cram everything then. And cramming is always short time. Correct? 
So now in Vedic maths, you get rid of this cramming everything because you need not to remember the tables more than nine. If you know up till eight, that's sufficient. Even nine is not required, sorry. So let me start with this. Now again, managing the class. See, I'll be when I'll be teaching you, that would be in a simple manner as a teacher teaches to a teacher, but then it, it is with the kids. You have to make it more creative, right? And I'll give you uh, inputs on that also later. So to write down the tables or to remember the tables, we have two techniques. Very first is for table of numbers. Ending with <clears throat> nine. Now, what are the numbers ending with nine? It could be nine only. It could be 19, 29, 89, 119, or 989, or 1079, or anything. The only thing is it should end with nine so this is one method of tables remembering the tables learning the tables second is any general uh, any general tables of two digits three digits or four digits correct or five also not not to worry so first we'll go with the first technique when the numbers are ending with a <clears throat> number nine. Now, this is where we use the first sutra. The first sutra of Vedic mathematics is called as Eka Di Kena Purvena. Now, if you break down, it is Eka Dikena means one more than the previous. This is your translation. Ekadikena Purvena. The translation says one more than the previous. Mathematical meaning is add one to the previous number. Here. Now, <clears throat> how do we add? So this, this you will be using this sutra, the first sutra of Vedic maths is used in this concept and it becomes easy, comfortable, faster. Correct. Let's see. The first thing is write down the, in this magic box or this is also a crisscross game of kids or they call it as dot line. You have to write in this manner. Starting from the rightmost corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and bring it to the top. Is it clear up till here? Now, yes. let's say we have to write a table of 19. We need to remember the previous number to 9 is 1. So we have to add 1 to it. We, because we apply a kadikena on the previous, on the number previous to 9. I'll show you. If I'm writing a table of 19, I will add 1 to this 1 and this will become 2. If I'm writing a table of 39, I'm adding 3 plus 1, this becomes 4. If I'm writing a table of 99, this becomes 9 plus 1, 10. If it is 89, 8 plus 1 becomes 9. If it is 109, 10 plus 1 becomes 11. Clear? I have to add 1 to the number before 9. Is it clear up till here? Yes, sir. 
Okay. So first thing, I complete 19. Since I'm writing a table of 19, then the new number I got is 2. So I just have to add this the 2 to this 1 and further save. So 1 plus 2 is? <coughs> what is 1 plus 2? 3. 3 plus 2? 5. Now I have to come down the reverse way. 5 plus 2? 7. 10 plus 2? 9. 9. 9 plus 2? 11. 11 plus 2? 13. 13 plus 2? 15. 15 plus 2? 17. 10 10 plus 2? 19. This 19 means verified. Okay. What is this? Table of 19, 19 1 is 19, 19 2 is 38, 19 3 is 57, 19 4 is 76, 5 is 95, 6 is 114, 7 133, 152, 171 and 190. Clear or not? Clear. One more. Let's say we have to write the table of 39. So now we'll four. be adding 3 plus 1, that is 4. So 3 plus four. 4 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 oh. plus 4 is 15. 15 plus 4, 19. 19 plus 4, 23. 27. 31. 35. And 39. Finish. How much time we took? Hardly 8 seconds. Clear? Clear. So uh, just try with 49. Try. You'll be adding 5 every time. So 4 plus 5. So first is 49. Second is 98. Third is? 80. Is it clear? Done. Done, sir. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> important thing. I told 89. Now see how much time it takes. 89, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 8 means I have to add 9. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 9 is 26. 26 plus 9 is 35. 35 plus 9 is 44. 44 plus 9 is 53, 53 plus 9 is 62, 62 plus 9 is 70, 171 plus 9 is 80 and 89. Not more than 8, 10 seconds. Clear? Clear. Write down the most easiest one, 99. Please do it. <clears throat> Done? Done now see if it it's not only on one digit, let's say eleven one one nine. It will work on every number. The only condition is it should end with nine. That's all. So what is eleven? That means we have to add twelve. 12. So eleven 12. plus twelve? Twenty-three. 20. Twenty-three plus twelve? Thirty-five. Thirty-five plus twelve? 47, 47 plus 12, 59, 59 plus 12, 71, 71 plus 12, 83, 83 plus 12, 95, 95 plus 12, 107, 
107 plus 12, 119, finish. And things are easier. This is just for numbers ending with nine. Clear? Yes, you need to remember tables up till eight. And I don't think that is difficult. Is it done now? Done, sir. Okay. Now let's move for the second concept. Second is writing any table. Now, what do we have? Okay. Now, I taught you 89. What if I say you write the table of 87? How will you write? You told me today that basics are not strong. And these are the basics. The basic multiplication is not strong because this will be applied everywhere. And when you talked about algebra, let me tell you, algebraic multiplication is just a single line where we used to take five, five lines to solve it. It is just one single line with the help of Vedic maths. But before that, you need to understand Urdhva Sutra multiplication. Things are very easy. Clear or not? Yes, okay. And now, how will you solve this? What happened? You can write eighty nine as eighty seven plus two and multiply it with eighty seven. So we have two concepts. What we talk? What we teach? 87 into 1, 87. Into 2, 174. Into 3, 1. And 2. But. <laughs> and we fail here. Then we teach another way. Okay, add 787, 87, 174. Then 174 into 87. And then, now this becomes boring. Do you have any third way? Do you have any third way? So it is not in, given in the books. So today when I teach you, you'll say, oh, we never thought this way. 89 into 80 plus uh, 9. Don't take just example of 89. Let it be any number, any two digit, any three digit, any four digit number. Will it work for everything? Now, let me say, I'll start from the beginning. I'll give you, okay, let's say very simple number 13. Why I'm taking 13? Because people, students remember up till 12 and they don't know of 13 also. This I have observed because I'm, if you have seen my profile, I'm giving sessions directly into the universities, Kathmandu University, Tribhuvan University, Sanic Vidyalaya, and even so I I give live sessions in different schools, colleges, and universities. What I have observed is students have okay, they, they are able to grab up to 12, but the moment 13 comes, they say, No, we'll take out the calculators. So I asked a very simple question to them. Do you need to know table of one? No. Everybody knows. Do we know the table of three? Yes, everybody does. So if you know the table of one, you know the table of three. What has happened that you don't know the table of 13? It was as simple as anything.
this we know just now we learned the basic thing balancing lines or place values this is okay as it is because one digit at unit place one at consider this as unit position this as tens 26 39 see for these three digits i didn't add it also now here problem arises yes two can be kept here but can we have two digits here no so what do you do you forward it 52 5 forward it 6 8 forward 7 1 forward 4 forward 7 forward 0 forward finish Same is your question of 87. 8, 60, 44, 32, 40, 48, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and so on. What happens? 8 and 7, 87, 1, 1. Here, 4 as it is. 1 goes here. What is this? 16 plus 1? 17. 1 here. 24 plus 2? 46, 8, 3 plus 2, 34, 5, 43, 2, 52. Now, which is easy? Adding adding 1, 2, 3 every time or adding 87, 87 every time? Yes, Mr. Yedla? Uh, is it rocket science I am teaching? No. Is it something really difficult? No, sir. But... Did we ever saw this concept in our school books, in our college books, in our university books? Is it really difficult? No, sir. It is just focusing on one principle, place value. And this is where the confidence goes down, where your fear factor starts in. Why students are stubborn? Why the students have the havoc, fear, stress of mathematics? Because that stress has been induced in their minds right from the beginning. Math is tough, do take care. Math is tough, do take care. Even when you enter an engineering college, your senior says, your teacher says, you'll be passing all the exams, but be careful about M1, M2, M3. It's very tough. Yes, yeah. math's really tough. I'll give you a very small example. 40 students in one class. 30 students out of that, they're going for after school tuitions. Till 10 are failing. That means there are two reasons. There could be two reasons. One is teacher is not teaching. Second, math is very, really tough. I don't believe on both. See, I cannot say 100% teachers are not teaching. Some might be teaching something at least. And I can also not take that, that yes, math is really tough. Because it is just a pattern of numbers if we understand the facts. Can we, and one more question arises, two things are there, get feared and run away, or face the challenge and accept it. Can we avoid mathematics in our life? No. So then do we have any reason? Do, do we have any option? Accept it. That's all. And accept with the motivated minds with a confident mind it is damn easy the only thing is we need to understand a very simple question to you is it really tough 35 wow. years 20, out of that at least you have, you have been teaching since the past 10 years That's... so easy Got it. Point, you know, wh why this is happening? Once we get a job or once we start our business, we never try to upgrade our knowledge. We never try to look in what other systems give us. We have that issue. No, we know everything. And that makes us stubborn. Basic maths could have been introduced in our education system long back, 1960s. But just because of that issues, no, it cannot be added. What is wrong if it has been taken from Veda? What is wrong if it has got tricks? The only thing is it's, it ignites the minds. 
it affects the speed, it creates the interest. So leave the negatives, take the positives and move ahead. No issues. So again, not only two digit number, there could be any digit now, six, four, seven, seven, six, four digit number, if you have to make a table, 12, eight, 14, 12, 18, 12, 21, 18. So what will you do? Six, four, seven, six. Here, two. One goes here, five. One goes here, nine, 10, eight, two, four, 19. See how easy it is. It is just like you are playing with the numbers now. Yes or no? Yes. That is you understand. Sir, I have a question. Yes, please. First, you ask. Sir, uh, uh, is uh, ma Vedic mathematics all about arithmetic only, or uh, it deals with any other areas like algebra, trigonometry, geometry? Uh, 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 that, that means you were not attending the class. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you the screen. I wrote here very clearly. We delete it. See, arithmetic is the basic because without arithmetic, you cannot do algebra also. Yes, it is. Correct. So first is arithmetic, then is your algebra, then comes your trigonometry, geometry, calculus, conics, and all other. But the first thing is arithmetic because arithmetic itself. Okay, now that is what actually we all consider arithmetic as very easy. But we are not able to do it mentally. Yes. We don't ask. We don't, you know, we are not balanced in ourselves. We cannot do mentally. But we don't want to learn also because arithmetic, oh, it is just addition, subtraction, multiplication. Very easy. I have a question for you. Simple yes, addition and subtraction. Can you solve this simultaneously? Please understand the word simultaneously. Okay. Nothing. It is addition and subtraction. Can I solve it simultaneously? No. There is no way in your mathematics to solve this simultaneously. What we will do? You will do this. 94, 70, positive together and negative together. You will segregate. But what if numbers are more? Or while segregating, if this answer is wrong, A plus B plus C, the positive one is wrong, and this is correct, then also you will be wrong. What's my point? So what happens? There is no way to solve simultaneous addition and subtraction in mathematics. Can you believe on this fact? Yes, sir. Uh, there could not be easy topic than this. There could not be easy point than this. So Vedic maths has a solution for this. Divisibility. Do you know divisibility by 7, 13, 19, 29? 37? No, <clears throat> because we cannot. We, yes, know all, but we, all, we all know about 2, 3, 5, 4, 8, 9. What about 7? What about 13? No. Sir, my question is, uh, uh, is Vedic mathematics all about uh, medicine, multiplication, division, or uh, any other advanced topics like... No, no, uh, I, that's what I'm saying. You can solve arithmetic. Okay. You can do algebra. Have you seen... Sir, uh, how to, uh, uh, is there any uh, tricks or trick tool uh, 
solving a quadratic equation in Vedic mathematics? Yes, there are. Okay. Quadratics also there. Hmm. That that will come when we'll do linear equation, uh, simultaneous linear equations, linear equations. Okay. That is the algebra part. Correct. At that time, quadratic equations will come when there would be two factors. Correct. And calculus is also there. Conics is also there. Trigonometries can also be solved. But the point is, see, I, I'll tell you what has happened actually. Okay. We don't have the complete content of Vedic maths also. Every teacher, every trainer has defined his own uh, steps, own levels. So that is the reason why the knowledge is getting straight. You might have taken so many sessions. Everybody has his own content play, uh, way of teaching. Correct? Because no, there is no authority under which this subject comes. Now, I am Director of Vedic Mathematics at Mahavir University also, Rajasthan. I am uh, the most viewed writer in the world for this topic. My books have been awarded as nationally best books on Vedic Mathematics. I am also working with Kathmandu University to uh, give uh, Vedic Mathematics certificate program in entire Nepal. So this experience I'm talking about with. Right. Okay, no issues. We'll, tomorrow we'll discuss on how to start also classes. But yes, as for your question is, we can solve entire. So you, I'll share you some details uh, because till now I have not shared you uh, details. I'll share you with the books. You can see the content. In those books, arithmetic and algebra is dealt with because that is the big, is what the first thing teachers training program. Correct, but nobody is taking earth uh, uh, trigonometry geometry because why? Because you don't find clients for that. You don't find students to learn that. And I tell you, which students do you get more? Tomorrow, if you also want to start with Vedic maths at your home. First category, you will be getting third, fourth class maximum, fifth maximum, sixth maximum, seventh, up till eighth. Now, students above ninth and tenth, they have the ego problem. Why yes. should I? Oh, arithmetic. I know everything. Same, see, you might have also given the same thought. It's not that today only you decided Vedic maths and you started the course, the program. No. You might have also thought number of times, oh, what would uh, we uh, learn? Just arithmetic, I know it. Correct or wrong? Yes. See, I'll tell you, we often get this thinking. See, I, I'll tell you uh, my profile. This, what I told you, was just Vedic mathematics. I'm also Evaluation Commissioner of India for a body called IAO. I have. Uh, you belong to which place? I am from Visakhapatnam, sir, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra, Andhra Pradesh. Pradesh. Which... Andhra Pradesh. India, Andhra Pradesh. No, no, South, India, India. South India. South India. Sir, I know South India. Which place? City? Visakhapatnam. Visakhapatnam. I have. I was there last last week. I have two preschools there. Gurusthanam Techno Preschools. Okay. Mm. One is in CBM compound. One is in just up, uh, near that the stadium. I'll share you that video. You can just check Gurusthanam, Vishakha Patna, and you'll find my because we had an annual function there on 18th. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so I have I run a chain of preschools also in India. I have I'm an evaluation commissioner of India. I evaluate universities, colleges. Last time I inspected your Bharat University of Chennai. And See, but the point is the zeal to teach. Now, I have that zeal. Key. Yes, I need to make the trainers out of you. So it's not only doing the simple th three calculations. So when you take the class, okay, we'll do, do it next time uh, after this. So many people are watching this. So let me complete this first. Okay. Is it clear? Any doubt left in tables now? Now, I'll give you a question on same multiplication. Let's, let's say... 387 into 9 is asked. Correct? Now, what do we do? We say 9 into 7, 63. 3, 6 we write here? Yes. Then, 72, 72 plus 6, 8. 
seven so, here. Nine, three, twenty-seven, and seven, thirty-four. Correct. This is how we do. Now, this is where students make silly mistakes. This is known as multiple carryovers. See what silly mistakes uh, we will discuss this. Uh, that that is one advantage. It would be coming now. Now, I'll show you Vedic maths way. <clears throat> Three, eight, seven into nine. Nine sevens are? Sixty-three. Finish. Nine seven eights are? Seventy-two. Nine Seven. threes are? Twenty-seven. Now write down the answer. Three. So what is the difference? The difference is one step extra. Agreed to that. But now you will never make a silly mistake because the answer is in front of you. You often might have observed that students are making this silly mistake. But here, this is known as place-wise multiplication. So no doubt or no question of making that silly mistakes. See, making the thing simple is what is known as Vedic maths. Is it anything tough here? No. Same question. But chances of mistakes, chances of error are reduced to zero. But yes, if somebody does now 9, 7, the 63, if they write 62, then nobody can save that person. Got it? No. Sure. We'll come to the next topic. Hmm. Now, the first advantage was it increases speed 10 to 15 times faster. Second advantage, and we learned why the speed increases. There were four different reasons behind which I gave to you. Second is, it reduces the burden. What is the burden? The burden is of tables. Students find it really difficult, and that is the stage when they start having a fear, a stress, or havoc of mathematics. Third advantage is, it reduces scratch work in mathematics as well as finger counting. Now, what is scratch work? Scratch work is when you check with, uh, you You always, uh, you you might be in examination hall sometimes and you might have observed in mathematics, every student is taking rough sheets. Yes. yes. What yes. you call as calculations, they do, they do. Why is that need? Now, the same example, just now I gave you an example of multiplication. Now, they might be checking that the answer in rough sheets, but here it is not required because you are doing it mentally most of the things see most of the uh, calculations in vedic maths can be done mentally or in very few steps so the chances of scratch work is highly reduced now talking about finger counting why does this term arises because we often compare this vedic mathematics with abacus you know what is abacus yes okay <clears throat> Abacus is a tool-based instrument which is used for, again, brain enhancement. And that is where a child develops the habit of finger counting. Though we, we all love this, key, yes, my child is developing with the brain and everything, but at times we start feeling, we start neglecting that thing, key, how that they are work, using their hands. When you are going now, this this workshop is basically to make you uh, to start your journey as a Vedic mathematics trainer. So tomorrow you are going to become a trainer in Vedic mathematics. The first question every parent will ask you: How is it different from Vedic mathematics, or how Vedic maths is different from Abacus? So the very first answer is yes. Vedic, Abacus is carry out major operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Whereas Vedic mathematics can find it has a wider scope. With the help of 29 formulas and sub formulas, we can do problems of arithmetic, algebra, trigonometry, geometry, calculus, conics, and even organic chemistry. Correct. Second, use of tools. Now, Abacus always use a tool, it, it is tool based. So you cannot, can you carry a tool in your classroom or in your examination hall? No. Whereas Vedic mathematics, 
it is done mentally and it is more effective way of learning as well as teaching. Today, when I am teaching you, you are able to understand because I am writing something you are able to understand. If I was holding an instrument in my hand, it was very difficult for you to understand also. Correct? So, Abacus is difficult in teaching as well as learning also. Third thing, now, because of government policy, it has been inculcated in your school curriculum, whereas Abacus is not that. Right? Because you cannot carry Abacus at, at, with every moment. Right? And the time taken. You might have, if you have not observed, please ask any student to understand or to learn Abacus. It takes around two years. Whereas to learn complete Vedic mathematics, you need only three months. So there is always a difference. And in Abacus, you are not learning algebra. You are not learning a, a, a trigonometry. You are not learning geometry. You are only learning arithmetics, And that too, some limit of it. You are not going for square roots, cube roots. And divisibility or anything. You are just going for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, scaring. Correct. So there is a lot of difference in the applications. Any question you have? Yes, anything else? No, sir. Is it clear? Okay. Now, fourth advantage, it helps to increase concentration. Now, how will, now we, we often, you also as a teacher, you might have observed. Parents coming to you and comparing that their wards are learning everything. But they are not able to concentrate. And when you are in an engineering college, that is the biggest problem. Students might be complaining that we are not able to concentrate. Sir, we are not able to concentrate. In hostel, we are not able to concentrate. Correct? Correct. What is concentration? It cannot be enhanced with any medicine, any system. See, do we need concentration when we are watching a movie? Do we need concentration when we we have to play a cricket. Do we need concentration when we are playing something else? Only thing, concentration is nothing but when you are doing something with interest repetitively. Even if not repetitively, something we are doing with interest. And here we are lacking that interest. We don't find it more in Interesting. That is the reason we are not able to acquire or understand or remember. Now here, okay, tell me very first thing. When you were doing this calculation, one, two, three, four, five, or fast when you were answering, were you not feeling something positive vibes going in your body? What are you finding something joyous, excited? Yes, sometimes. Yes? What is that? See, when you feel positive, when you feel joyous, when you feel happy, then whatever you do, you would love to do it again. But if some work gives you tension, creates irritation, would you like to do that? No. That is what has become. So concentration here uh, now, when both your brains start working, you find you you get the speed out of it. Your visualization, reasoning, and logic that improves your level of clarity as well as level of achievement. See when you achieve even a small when somebody appreciates you, na, you know what happens. The next day you do that work more efficiently. Yes. Same is now here. You get that appreciation with your results. You are becoming faster. You are becoming accru accurate. You are be increasing that speed. So that is the reason why how your concentration starts working, uh, increasing. Correct? Your brain, right brain, left brain, both are working. You're finding positivity. You are 
having visualization, reasoning, and logic, all these things end up to increase in concentration. Correct. The basic funda is you are happy. You are enjoying. So that was the reason I said concentration is nothing but doing the same thing with interest. One line is with interest. Sometimes we say that student is not having mind. His brain is not up to mark. Just tell me one thing. If his brain is not up to mark, how can he remember 40 movies with frame by frame? How can he remember 20 uh, songs word to word? If he can remember all those things, he can remember your class education also. But the only thing is, he finds difficult to sit for even 40 minutes because he's not finding it interesting. That is what works. I generally take sessions in live sessions in schools, colleges, universities, I take for more than three hours. And after the result, you know what students say, sir, we cannot sit for 30 minutes and here we are sitting for past three hours. Because you need to generate that interest in them. Got it? <clears throat> okay. And the last but not the least, it reduces silly mistakes. I told you what are silly mistakes now? You know, in class one, two, three. Well, I'll always start from the base. This is the base where you start having the fear, stress, or trauma, or what you call havoc of mathematics. Why? Because you every time the complaint is that you have done it wrong. You are not able to understand where you go wrong. One is you go wrong in multiple uh, carryovers, in additions. So it is, uh, yes, it is also in multiplication. Also, you get multiple carryovers. Second, second is your sorrow. Now, let me tell you, you saw here, multiple carryovers are reduced to a limit, right? Like in 11 multiplication or multiples of 11, the multiples were not in the same proportion. It was reduced to a limit. And second thing, we don't have a system of borrow in subtraction. So subtraction works without borrow. So this is the reason our silly mistakes are reduced to a great extent. Correct. So this was fifth reason for our fifth advantage of Vedic method. Do you think now after all this, do you think any disadvantage of Vedic mathematics? No, sir. Sure. There is one. There are two. One is you would not like calculators anymore. <laughs> yes. Second thing, you'll be much faster than the calculator today. See, you, you are always surrounded by uh, students. Just ask that simple question. Can you write table of 89? And what is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 11? 50% of the students will laugh away. Why? Because they don't know to answer. 40 will say, we don't need it in our, we are engineering students. That shows their ego because they don't know. 10% will give you the answer 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 7 minutes. That shows they also don't know. This is a fact. You know, I'm I'm trained. I'm a uh, one of the, or you can say uh, one trainer in Nepal, and in Nepal, uh, the education system allows doing examinations of class eight and above with calculators. So you can think when you are allowed with the calculators in examination hall, why will you study? That is it, but the positive part is they have accepted Vedic maths as with very great. So many institutions have taken sessions, universities, colleges. Right. So, but they are improving a lot now. So, anything, any question, any query? Now you believe, I, I gave one word initially, if you remember. Yes, Vedic maths makes mathematics simple, easy, and faster. Or in word, one word, I could say it makes mathematics magical. Do you believe? Do you think? Yes or no? 
Yes. Do you think Vedic maths makes mathematics magical? Yes, sir. So, I'll, I'll give you some situations. Now, because you are also, since you are into engineering college, you might have faced this situation. Now, when you appear for an interview, does your marks only are the only criteria? You are, you have a hundred percent marks or ninety percent a golden certificate, a gold certificate. Does it work, or your presentation skills also matter? Now you know what was the time earlier before Corona time. We always used to have offline classes. So whatever you were teaching, that was confined to the four walls of the room. Whatever a teacher used to teach, a student used to say, yes, sir. But at, at the time of PTM, if a parent was saying, <coughs> if a teacher was saying to the parent, your child is not studying, the child used to get the thrashed at the same moment because parents used to believe so much on the uh, teacher. But after Corona, time has changed. Now, if a teacher is saying your child is not studying, his the answer comes back. Yes, we have seen your lessons on net and others also. You are also not doing that good. You're not te teaching good. You know, so uh, after Corona, what has happened? We have got global market to teach, to learn. Similarly, global competition. So two things matter a lot. When you are going to become a tra trainer, Vedic mathematics trainer, two things affect. One is the content you are delivering. And second is the way. Right? Will. So content and delivery, both matters a lot now. Second situation, yes, this was one, one, one was, Yes, in educational systems. Second, same thing. If you are in a corporate companies, you are working day or night, that doesn't matter. If you're not able to give the same presentation in the meeting, right? So giving representation means having that thorough knowledge delivery. So delivery part, content you have, but delivery you don't have, you fail. In actual practice, if I say, all of us have become salesperson. Now you are teaching in an engineering college also. At the same time, you are counseling for them also. You are promoting it to the in the front of the same students or the parents or, or to the companies who are coming for them. Everybody is a salesperson now. You receive LTFC calls and some insurance calls. They are not only salesperson. Every person is. If I am teaching you right now, so I am also selling Vedic mathematic concepts to you. To, tomorrow you are taking a class. You are also helping in that. Right? So this we need to understand that content and delivery are very important factors today. Right? So you'll be having uh, some homework I'll be sharing with you. Apart from that, uh, since we'll, this will be having one topic, how to start your courses online that you need a Facebook account. One thing, if you have already have, you should have Facebook page for it, right? Now, because Facebook account is your profile, but page we need it for commercial angles, right? And in case you have Instagram page also, that Instagram account also, that is very good. But uh, very shortly, I'll be sharing you with the homework. Please try to do that and submit it on the group so that we our teachers can evaluate and that will help you to gain knowledge only any questions now you have no sir nothing Chalo. So tomorrow we'll be having at the same time and uh, yes the homework is one thing you'll do and tomorrow we'll have topics on scaling cubing and how to launch it online right and um, try to have questions see I tell you one thing today you are not asking me questions but tomorrow when you start teaching this people will ask you so try to get involved try to ask more and more and that is the way to learn sure sir right sure thank you very much for patiently doing this and i'll be sharing you video shortly as well as the homework right bye bye thank, thank you. you bye sir